What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having fantastic days and if not, I hope I can make your day just a little bit better. Uh, before we get started with this uh, top five uh, different types of civilization players, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, did I tell you guys to subscribe? Because that is something you should definitely be doing. And uh, yeah, without further ado, enjoy the video. Hmm, well, let's see. I do have to place down a few pins, just because, you know, yeah, you can't do much without pins in this game. We'll put an aqueduct right there. We'll put a nice dam right there. Ooh, that's a pretty solid industrial zone. It's probably plus four or five. Yeah, it's plus seven, actually. Wow, that's really nice. You know, maybe if we put a uh, commercial hub right over there, that would give us some nice gold. Okay. And then over there, obviously, we have to go for the campus beside the mountain. Science plus four is very, very nice. Um, looking around, yeah, probably, you know what, if we could put a wonder here, like, this wonder at Tamakani, and right beside it, if we could just go, you know, maybe the Hanging Gardens, and then maybe even put a theater square right beside those wonders, we could get really solid wonder production early game, we could get lots of culture here, hmm, yeah, I, you know what, maybe if I move the industrial zone to the left a little bit, um, hmm, yeah, okay, um, yeah, city right there, a few moments later, there, Okay, here we are. We have, like, plenty of city tiles now. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's put the encampment right... Oh, well, you know, Holy Site's probably the better idea over there. Um, here we could probably put the Stonehenge Wonder. Uh, oh, nope, it's not going to be there. So we might as well just put a preserve there. That would help us tremendously. Uh, yeah, just put a preserve right there. I don't think I have enough pins to... Uh, yeah, well, we might as well get started on the Petra City to the west. Got to get everything nice and planned out. Very nice. Okay, yep. Yeah. Here we are now. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Um, I think this might be enough pins for now. Uh, not too sure, though. I guess that's fine. We'll, we'll make more later. The start is absolutely dog shit, man. There's a... Uh, there's... Uh, there's... Ma I gotta restart this. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to play this game. It's no... Uh, this game... It's... Uh, you know what? We can definitely do better. Uh, maybe if I move on the... No, we gotta restart. This is a terrible map. No way in hell I'm playing on this thing. Um, we don't even have a river on this one. That's a restart automatically. Uh, ooh, no. Restart. Immediate restart. Not even close. Not even a question. Um, I guess it's fine if we settle on top of the marble. It's a passable city. It only has two, three food tiles and one, two, two tile. Um, do we take... You know what? Eh, I could do better. Let's restart. This is no way. Yeah. Hmm, let's look through here. Okay, we're friends with the Ottomans, so really they shouldn't declare war on us. We should be fine. Uh, we're friends with Guitarja as well and Mapuche. Whoa, whoa, we're not friends with Portugal. Oh my god, what if they bring a massive army? They already have mission. Whoa, 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 friendship? Oh, no. Okay, this isn't good. What about... Oh, they don't even want the delegation. Uh, okay, maybe if we give them all our money, all our Diplo favor, uh, maybe every luxury we have, as well as all our gold per turn, they might be able to make friends with us and leave us alone. I mean, I hope so. We'll even give them all the horses we have. We don't even need them. And open borders. Cool. Can we make friends now? Yeah, we have lots of health. Oh, no, we can't make friends. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what if I give you every single city I own? Would we be able to have peace then? Please? Please? Oh, maybe? May he likes me now? Friend? Oh, no! Okay, um, okay, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Well, maybe, maybe, if we declare war on him, he'll come in, steal our cities, and then we can finally be friends with him, right? So if I declare war on him, he'll send all his units to my cities, take my capital, and then from there, maybe he'll then accept the declaration of friendship. Guys, I think that's a good idea. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay, who? Just a quick note, guys, if you don't want to be this player, if you don't want to be an absolute pussy and you want to absolutely destroy any AI you come into contact with, you want to absolutely bend over anybody you want, male, female, or fucking frog monster for all I care, just subscribe to the Civ Lifer. I have all these videos. I'm one of the best Civ 6 deity war players in the entire game. Early, medieval, late, renaissance, robot war, doesn't even matter. You subscribe to the Civ Lifer, watch my videos, and you will dominate early war. You'll absolutely run a train on everybody from settler to deity. Doesn't matter if they're prince, doesn't matter if they're your friends, you're trying to absolutely destroy. Subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, and you will absolutely destroy everything related to combat and war. Peace. What? Four cities is all we need. The hell? Why do we have the settler out? Delete this guy. This is... I'm playing Civ 5. I've played Civ 5. I know exactly how this works. Another settler? No, don't you know we get, like, si science debuffs if we go for more than four cities? No, no, no. What are you doing with all these cities, man? It's not as if in Civilization 6 they completely removed the penalty you get from settling too many cities when it comes to science and your culture research. I know what I'm doing, guys. Come on. Four cities is all we need. 
Guys, please send help. My name is Eduardo. He's kept me locked in the basement just to whisper into the mic because of my beautiful, deep, sexy voice. Guys, please help. I can't take this anymore. He's gonna, I'm gonna throw me, I'm gonna throw myself off a bridge. Guys, I can't handle it anymore. Send help. Call anybody. Call the fucking Gestapo for all I care. Call the SS. I don't give a shit. Guys, please send me help. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Who said you could talk into the mic without my first? Come here. Come here. Oh no, guys, you got me help. Help. <laughs> Let's get to it. going to be the end not because barbarians were absolutely brutalizing my empire and i had to cut the last segment short but because we are completely finished with the top five different types of civ players um if you enjoyed as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe do not listen to eduardo he gets like three squared meals a day uh most of the time i think i don't know in any case um yeah let me know exactly what type of civ player you most associate with and which ones would you like to see me do in a future video anyways i will see you all in the next video peace